Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Salem Valley, just to say Kilkeel. This is, uh, there's a few different trails that uh, that you can do on the round here. I'll show you on the map because when they, when you come in, they give you a little map here on a five pound entrance, but it will give you all the, all the information about it inside one of these little pamphlets. Um, but um, I'll just show you exactly where we are here. So there's loads of different trails that you can do. Obviously, everybody tries to do the walk from here out to Ben Crom Reservoir, but I'm going to take you a different route today. I'm going to take you up around by Suey Silent Valley uh, Reservoir, but then we're going to go up towards Slave Glock, and then there's I might as well show you the map here, and then I'll discuss it and show you uh, the different routes that we're going to do today. <laughs> so these are this is the map on the entrance as you come in here. So they're, they're all different uh different trails that you can do but it's giving you all the distances like the brown crumb walk is six miles give or take half a mile it's it's there and back to the car park uh heritage trail challenge trail mountain trail nature trail so what we're going to try and do we're going to try and incorporate a few of these different trails in today sorry about the glare here up, up around here but see if i can get that focused in on a bit better uh so we're here, we're in this little parking area, so we're going to go up past the duck pond, we're going to go up to the actual reservoir, walk along the reservoir, and then we're going to come up, we may go up around this way along this black trail, feeling that, we're going to go along this blue trail, both of these will back on these, so you just come down here and you go over a stile and you meet back up, you meet up back down here. Yeah, so we're going to come along this trail here on the way back. Down, sorry, down around this way along the green trail and then back into the car parking space here where we started off. So hopefully we'll get about, um, it might add up till three miles. I'm going to see if I can maybe do a few of these trails, just sort of zigzag back on each other and hopefully try and get around about four and a half if possible. But I will try that uh, just to see. But you see, that's the red route. That's the, the Ben Crom. You go on up past Minion Tunnel, uh, away on up, it'll take it towards Ben Tunnel Reservoir, but, uh, yeah, this is where we are here. This is where we're going to start off from today. You can't go over that way to start the trail, or the nature trail and stuff. There's a little signpost there, but we're going up through here towards the duck pond, and you'll see Moo Leave, Wee Binion, and, and Big Binion, and we'll head up towards the, the actual reservoir itself. So here we go guys, this is the start of the trail. Well, start of the walk anyway. Uh, I guess everything's very white today for some reason. There's little containers there. Stick a quid in there. You can feed the ducks. You can see like the, these little seed parcels. Just for the duck in the duck pond. So, this is not loose and nasty place in the summer. Um, Load these little left. Uh, picnic tables with the uh, metal grills on them there just so you can have barbecues as well these look like little shoddy huts not 100% sure they do like shoddy huts they, uh, they have these up in the granite trail they used to use these here for uh, shelter whenever they're working up on the, on the actual granite trail but uh, this is your little information board about this little hut here uh, water town house so the Risley Watertown House was a temporary settlement when the construction was in 1923. Um, it accommodated approximately 600 to 700 of the workers. Apparently there was loads of people killed or died during the construction of this here. But so this is the memorial for a memorial dedicated to those who died during the construction of the Silent Valley and Ben Crom Reservoir. Silent Valley and then it lists the names of all the people below and Ben Crom Jim Moore. Again, all these little picnic tables are scattered all over the place. Um, you'll not have uh, anywhere where you can't rest. Um, bring a pic pic picnic, bring sandwiches, bring a barbecue. Uh, but this is this is the little tea house here. Uh, it's open till half four. Uh, yeah, there's two ways you can go. You can walk down 
This is the I am right with the, them, that couple's bucket. I'll take you down and see that way because it's a wee bit more picturesque rather than just going along here along the road. This, mm, this part here is the pumping station. Uh, Pink Chrome Reservoir and Silent Valley Reservoir cover all the water for most of uh, uh, Down, County Down. So that stretches from Belfast right down as far as Newry uh, and across and inward. Um, yeah, very ornate, very picturesque type of uh, buildings. You have to remember these things were built in about 19. 1850s, I think this was built, I'm not 100% sure now. Making me a little bit more information here on the uh, little crest here. Here we go, guys. It was 1950. I guess building was built. Uh, 1950. So, here we go guys, we came up from the actual pumping station there, and uh, we go up these little steps, you can come along the road there as well, and uh, here we go, this is Silent Valley Reservoir, so there's plenty of water in today because it's going down the overflow there, uh, and these are your more mountains, this is the start of your more mountains, so you're right in the middle of it, that way one there is the one, you still get up that one, just leaving the Glock, that's the field the tent. <laughs> Well, there's Binion and all. Uh, Binion's in behind the clouds here, along here. Um, but we'll continue on, because we're going to do the little nature trail today. Just walk up along this side of the dam. Uh, very beautiful picture of this place, this. Uh, this is another place I really enjoy. Sound of Bali. Obviously, it gets its name from uh, being extremely silent. Good place to go and just use your, your head short and get your thoughts about you. Uh, I'll look at that. I'm sure you know, we want to do a couple of wee trails here today. Blue, grey, blue, black, red, and green. So. <clears throat> As we get up here, there should be a little stile that uh, you need to go climb over. Uh, let's see, still not warmed up yet. Hence the shortness of breath, but as soon as I get warmed up, um, then she starts to feel a little bit better for me. Last time I was here, I was only able to walk up this little dirt path because bristles and everything were like cutting into you something terrible. Look at this, we thought it just landed on me. This is going to be the start of it. Uh, fly season, midges. Uh, this place just you get at alive up here. Uh, most of the morning you'll get at alive with uh, with midges, but it's all sure part of the fun, isn't it? But uh, this isn't excessively high. This is only a small hill we're up today, but it's more the trail that I'm after today. Um, back on. This is absolutely gorgeous up here. But say the only thing that does annoy me about up here, and it's only the one thing, is midges and flags. You will get at the bits up here, and um, as I said earlier, most of the mornings you will get at a leg. You can buy sort of midge spray, uh, all different types of forms. 
different uh, places where you can get it. I said the castle one and stuff like that there, but uh, there's another smaller pond there as well if I can get in focus of it. So you can go down along this little trail here. We may come along that trail on the way back. Just continue on down this wee trail. This will take us over towards the more one of the more walls. Um, but we're gonna go head back down towards the nature trail. Coming down the path here, we come to these little stone markers. Uh, one's directing me back the way I came. Don't know what's down that direction. I think you're probably just heading back down towards the forest, but we are going to follow the black trail along this way. This is going to take us out towards the uh, towards the nature trail, towards the nature trail and the river trail. <clears throat> We're going to be heading down this little path here, coming along over this direction here. There's like a little boardwalk and stuff. Uh, part of the nature trail. <clears throat> I love this place too. This is another one of my favourites in the valley. I haven't been since last year. Um, but I am wanting to try and get back up into the mornings in here. So we're, we're heading on now to the four trails. Green, black, blue and yellow. We're going to go along this Silent Valley Nature Trail. There we are. So this will tell you more about the Nature Trail. Uh, it follows the line of the old railway, which used to be high supplies and materials along the analog to the side of the Silent Valley. Uh, yeah, so these are the way markers here. Um, this one. So we're going to go this way. This way along the green out towards the nature trail and just up this little track here. So these are little point of interest here. Um if you are coming along here, you'll see these little posts, right? And it's just like like posts, but they're actually little information boards. See this right here. See if I can do this one handed, hold on. Just push here. And you just pull them out. And it'll tell you all about the uh, with the trees. Uh, so it's the rowan trees that the ward off evil spirits. Holly trees provide green cover for birds all year round. So there you go. So it just slips back in this wee post. Just sort of keeps it out of the way. Keeps it neat and tidy. Again, there's loads of these little seats along this nature trail here too. So it's a pleasurable walk. It's a nice walk. Uh, Nothing too difficult about this. You can't do this on its own. You don't have to do all the all the trails that I've went through today. So the the black, the blue, we're onto the green. We might cut across from the green instead of going back to the car and head down towards the yellow trail. And we'll see what the yellow trail looks like.
Okay, so that was part of the nature trail. Uh, so we did part of the black trail. We crossed over on the blue trail down towards the green. Uh, we did see this now. This is, uh, this is a nice wee surprise if you're coming along here. Yes. A little boardwalk. There's a few big branches along here as well. Um, they built this little boardwalk over. I think this is a bit of a, like a little bit of a heat land or fog land or something like that. Uh, but there is a little seat spot. There's two benches out. You can see as we get up here. You can just take a wee rest and enjoy where you are. Here we go. Uh, so this is the Silent Valley Nature Trail. Here we go. Silent Valley Nature Trail. Well, look at that. Isn't this absolutely stunning of a place to be? This big binion in the background. Little moolie and wee binions just below that again. But look at that. And it's turned out a glorious, beautiful day today. So it's coming up from the boardwalk, back down that way. This path here will take you back up to the car park where we started off. But I want to try and get in the extra steps, so I'm going to go down here. So you can do that. There's that nature trail loop walk, uh, one and a half, one and a half miles. But we're going to go down, <coughs> down this trail. So this will take us back down towards, I think it takes us down towards the back end of the duck pond. Uh, this is getting us out long because I'm having a cracker day here and I don't want to be in now because I think we're only sitting at about three miles for that bit of a a walk um but I want to try and get at least four at least four four and a half but sure I have nowhere else to go with nobody else to see it's just me and nature me isn't so I'll continue on I'll get more more around near the pond Here we go guys, this is the, this is back down on this bottom trail here, just beside the little pond there, this is a separate pond from the one that we passed earlier, but had a little bird seed thing, but we were up along here, and we walked the whole way right along, and went down, uh, and then through the, the green trail, the nature trail, so this is the other trail that I want to take you on, this is going to take us back out towards uh, Senna Valley. So there you go guys, that's just coming in a full circus back on our shelves again. Let me just check and make sure the razor's connected. Yeah, uh, <coughs> so we went over that way and up and up there. Uh, but we're just going to sort of double back on our shelves. So we've got the black trail, the blue trail, green trail and yellow trail. So we did okay today for trails. Um, but yeah, that's us back at the Southern Valley. I think the depth of this here is about 212 foot deep. Um, yeah, it's about 212 feet deep, I think it is. I am. I am. Oh, 
Okay, that's here. Per place to be. Number one, bro. Absolutely beautiful stone. But the main attractor is. Here. Easier way is doing up the Craig Little Car Park along that long valley. Instead of going on towards the Blue Lake, you take a left and go up the side of the wall, and that's probably the easiest way. And then you can come along down through the North Tower, down towards uh, Glebe Lamigan, and then back down the Blue Lock that way, along that valley. I think it's about six mile, uh, six mile and a I think it's about a six point five mile, seven mile maybe. I'll I'll put the uh I'll put the best things of the uh, it's kind of little binion loop, I think they call it. It's towards the blue lock and whatever, but yeah, this is where we are today. Sand and Bonnie. Yeah, it's uh, a sign of Bali. You see, uh, there's a sign there for Ben Crom. Uh, ben Crom Reservoir. Three miles. Straight on down that road there. Three miles. Three miles back. It's pretty straightforward. Um, well, we're gonna, we're gonna walk on down. Down this road um, here. Yeah, I've had a really good day today. I've been able to get in. Black trail, blue trail, green trail, and yellow trail. Um, overall, I'm hoping it's going to be about 4.2 miles in total. Um, today I always like to try and get at least 4 miles in, but uh, yeah, so if you are new to this channel and you do get something out of this, consider hitting that wee subscribe button. Hit that wee like button for me, and you'll be able to get all these notifications and new videos coming. So here we go, guys. Um, that's a full circle on ourselves. Um, Sand and Valley, very enjoyable walk if you are very interested in coming down here. Um, I think we're going to be sitting in around about four, 4.2 miles in around that there. So we were able to get in the Black Trail today. We got in Blue Trail. We got in the Yellow Trail. On the Green Nature Trail, uh, so that's Sand and Valley in Kilkeel, um, by 4.2 miles, 4.3 possibly, done.